Hey guys, and welcome to the finale of collecting all the heroes and you viewed in Chronicles 100 Heroes. It is called 100 Heroes. There are in fact 120, and this is where we collect the last few. I am 99% sure I didn't miss any characters. I have been consulting and writing in my notebook very thoroughly. If you see this video and you've noticed that I've missed a character, Somewhere, let me know. But as far as I can find, I put them all in videos somewhere. So, that being said, if you feel like, if you don't have 119 heroes before hitting the point of no return, which is the Marcus dungeon, um, or Marcus, excuse me, you will want to be sure to do, to consult another guide or something. You should have 119 heroes by the time you do what we're talking about here, so... And if not, go back and find them. But you should be good. You should be good. All right. Enough disclaimers out of the way. Let's get started. The first character we're going to recruit is Sylvaneth. She's actually pretty easy-ish. All you have to do is construct the mystery room in your castle. And she'll be located in the barracks. Uh, you'll see a red symbol that looks the same as the other teleport stones around the base. In fact, it's right beside one. Uh, tap that. Go in. She'll be there. She'll ask you to do some trials. Um... I completed four of them, but I'm told you don't even have to complete one. Once you attempt a trial and lose or whatever, uh, she'll join you automatically from there. So just know she's in the get barracks. Go try her trial out, win or lose. If you win, you get a boatload of experience. So, I mean, if you want to be overpowered, this is a perfect opportunity. But the battles are also kind of hard depending on which one you get because they're randomized. But anyways, point is, this is where you get her. CJ is an interesting case because she first popped up, I wasn't recording. I was actually doing some other stuff on the side. So, um, once, uh, Melandra and the kangaroo, Garu, I think his name is, joined your party, um, and you start to head towards that area where you got Chandra recently, um, if you try to exit your castle the normal way, CJ will pop up. Now, the reason I missed this is because, the first time is because I actually just teleported outside the castle because I didn't want to walk out of the castle, but you have to actually go like you're exiting the castle. Um, and she'll, you'll get a cutscene with her, and she'll go towards some rune barrows. If you did like me, you have to wait until um, Garu rejoined your party, the kangaroo, because he was locked out for me for the, you know, I was already in Northstar at that point, so he was, uh, he was unavailable. I had to wait until I could put him in my party. And then you take him and Ishta to the rune barrels in question, which is up, you know, beside the, the first town again, where we've been several times. Um, so this dungeon's interesting because you have to do a quick boss, you have to do a boss fight in which you're supposed to run away and then do the dungeon and then go back and the boss should be weakened. However, the boss is defeatable without doing the dungeon. Um... So, if you want to go for that, it was rough. Well, it wasn't that bad because my Chandra and Yusuke were... Chandra and Yusuke are overpowered. Holy crap. Anyways, I did the boss without having to do the dungeon, and then I just went back and did the dungeon anyways. Um, but it made me not have to do two of the puzzles. So, uh, either defeat the boss or don't. If you don't, do the dungeon, then go back and beat the boss. And if you do defeat the boss on one try, still go do a quick run through the side rooms because there's some good accessories and runes. And yeah, CJ's yours at this point. After you get Selbaneth, we're going to go back to the Rune Barrows near the Treefolk Village for hopefully the last time. Uh, in there, just to the left of the control panel, you'll see Galadur. Talk to him. He'll put you through a trial battle, win it, and he's yours. I don't know specific, like the specific moment he becomes available. I just know it's sometime when you're in Norstar, which is the kind of snowy-ish area. So... Um, go there and check. If he's not there, come back later. Like I said, I don't know specifically when he becomes available. I just know that I was able to pick him up. Um, I think it was just before the big war over in Norastar happens. So, but he shouldn't, like, vanish or anything. So if you don't get him then, then just go back later before the point of no return and you should be able to pick him up. Same general thing with, um, Owie, which you can pick up in East Twinhorn. Uh, you need Yugo on your party. You talk to her. She's got the pink skirt here, as you see. You'll have to do a 1v1 battle, so you want to have Yugo leveled up a little bit, you know, kind of prepared. When you defeat her, she will join your party as well. Again, not sure when she's immediately available, but she should stay available once she is. So just go back there and check, and eventually, if once she pops up, grab her. 
Back in Northstar, continuing the story, Foxiel can be found in the southeastern section of the main castle town. Um, she'll well, she'll want like a food from her childhood or whatever, which you can of course go get from Kurtz. Uh, just grab the recipe from Kurtz, take it back to her, and she's yours. Again, uh, she's available no matter what, even after the big battle, and once you are supposed, once the the castle is no longer part of the alliance, we'll say. You should uh, still be able to just waltz in. Nobody seems to care. Just like with uh, Ethelweiss, you can still go in there even though it's controlled by the Empire. Um, so yeah, you can get her no matter what point you're at. So just go grab her. Uh, again, talk to her. Go to Kurtz. Get the recipe. Go back. Talk to her. She'll join your party. I like her. She's in my main team. Next, we're going to head back to Eucharis and go to the southern section of the city. There will be a pink-haired character there who will convince you to go through a dungeon for them. That that dungeon is the Seaside Cavern. So head back that way, go to the end of the dungeon, and you'll be at that magical wall that you've probably seen a couple of times now because we've been there at least twice. Uh, Momo will get you through the wall, and you'll have to do a boss fight. Complete the boss fight, and Momo will join you. Um, as far as the boss fight itself goes, there's a gimmick. There's two gimmicks. First, you have to flip the switch on the wall... And then once that's done, you can actually use the harpoon, which does really good damage to the boss. Uh, or you could defeat the boss outright. It's up to you, of course. But yeah, that's the way the gimmick works. Don't think you can flip the switch and it's instantly done. There's actually another piece to that little gimmick, as it were. So yeah, Momo, apparently one of the best mages in the game, and Sane's magic growths. After all of the events in Norastar, Abby, uh, Garu's daughter, will just be in the inn. You can talk to her and she'll join your army. She technically should are she should have really just joined automatically, but you do have to go talk to her. Now that we're past the point where we can collect Abby, we're gonna go once more to uh, East Twinhorn. Near the docks, you're going to talk to a character named Dystra, uh, Dystrata, Dystra. Yes, Dystra. Um, he's gonna again offer you a dungeon. This dungeon's actually really important because it's the place where you can mine platinum ore. So keep that in mind and maybe even bring uh, your mining buddy support so you can get more ore as you go through because you need it for your base upgrades. In fact, you may also need base 4 to do this. I I'm unclear on the rules here. I just know I went here and he was here. So just go ahead. If he's not here, upgrade your base to level 4 and maybe he'll appear. Uh, once he's once you go to the island he mentioned, do the dungeon, get to the end, beat the boss, and Dystra uh, will join your army. You also need um, you'll need Quinn in your party. I think she'll talk to him. I don't know if she was required, but I had her. So again, if he's not taking you to the island, put Quinn in your party. Try again. Since she doesn't get locked to your party, you may not actually need her in it. Uh, so. I don't know, just 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 test it out if you want. Go talk to him if Quinn's not one of your main team. And if she is, then maybe, I don't know. You won't have any trouble if she's part of your main team. Another quick, two quick notes about this dungeon. Uh, there's a lot of good runes and accessories here. It is basically the end game dungeon. And in addition to that, there is uh, a one treasure chest at the very end that you can't get your first time through because you'll get cutscened out of the dungeon. It's an old document, so if you want that go back to the dungeon and get it again. It's good to go back through it anyways, because again, Orichalium. I mean, it's not Platinum, it's Orichalium. Yeah, anyways, you'll figure it out. Oh, and if you care about such things, there's a couple more gold um, Beyblade tops here that you can grab. Lastly, at this point in the story, you've been to the mountains in Norstar to set the charges. You want to go back there now? Go down Noah's Path, which is the center path, and you will run across El Alicanto. You do have to defeat him in a duel, uh, it's awesome. I don't. Well, it's, it's so cool. I loved this duel, especially once you use your um, your like angry attack. Holy crap! It's dope as hell. But yeah, uh, defeat El Alicanto in a one versus one, uh, not a command duel, but like one of the fight guard duels. Defeat him there, and Alicanto will join your party, and ah, uh, he should be the final character for you to recruit. Um, at this point, you should have 119 of the heroes. Um, if you don't. There are some more story recruits that you get before you go past... Like, you, you start the point of no return, and you get your last few story recruits. After them, you should be at 119. If not, don't go to the castle. Go round up the rest of the troops that you're missing. Because the final character joins you automatically as part of the story if you have the other 119. 
And they are missable. So, yeah, do that. And the final character is, of course, as you probably expected for the entire game, Nova's little sister, Lean. She'll join you after the big war uh, for your hometown. Free of charge. Well, I say free of charge. You had to have collected all 119 other heroes. But yeah, she'll join as the 120th, and you're done. Congratulations. You now have every single hero in Uden Chronicles. You are free to do whatever you want from here. Personally, I am sitting at a. Uh, I'm sitting at the nodes. In fact, I'm gonna grab this right now. I'm sitting at the nodes in um, the Skeleton Castle to collect uh, Sacred Tree Chips because I want to upgrade my base some more. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing for uh, Legendary Beast Horns and um, Oricalcum. That's going to be pretty much my day, is just standing at these nodes waiting for them to respawn, so that when I stream next, we can hopefully give this game the final clap. But genuinely, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I knew that putting out a strategy guide type thing was going to do good. I did not expect my subscriber count to jump by over 600 and put me into partner. And I really, really appreciate that. And I'm going to continue to make guides for every game that I play. I have two more videos I'm going to make for um, 100 Heroes as well as a review. So three more EC videos coming, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So again, thanks everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and love these little um, hyper-specific guides where I can't tell the difference between East and West 90% of the time, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Deuces, dummies.